Hello and welcome back to another video of us building our homestead here in beautiful central Portugal. It's rather a hot day today, we're in the early 30s Celsius, I'm not 100% sure what that is in Fahrenheit, I think it's like in the 90s, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> a few of you were laughing at us finding this hot. We're from Wales, 25 degrees is hot to us, that's like a write-off day. So yeah, this is uh, something we're having to learn to acclimatise. Just got the chickens all scratching down here, having a great time. We're going to spend the evening working on the kitchen. Yuan's already made up a mix and is fixing some of the rendering, just some finishing touches that needed to be done before we paint it. And then I'm hopefully going to finish rendering the shelves today. Yeah, my labour of love. <laughs> Thank you for all the comments in the last video saying that you liked them. I thought maybe I'd gone a bit mad, <laughs> but I'm really happy with how they're coming together and I'm glad that other people can appreciate and uh, like what I'm doing as well. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Jan to finish that up and he's then going to make me up a mix because he is the mix master. So yeah, I need to empty that part of the kitchen again, forever emptying the kitchen to be working on a renovation project that you're not living in, <laughs> must be dreamy. I think when we get to do the big barn, that will be our bedroom. I say big barn, it's, it's a small barn. <laughs> we obviously won't be living in it, so it's gonna feel a lot easier. This one, so the kitchen's there. This is the big main barn, a bit of a mess. Always, it's not too, too bad right now, but yeah going to be really fun once we get on to doing this. There's lots of bees making use of the holes in the walls. Um, so yeah, Whew, it's very sunny. How's it going? Mm, it's going. Is Done. it finished? Yes. Cool. Can make would you like a mix? I would love a mix, thank you. <laughs> Whilst Yuan's making up a mix, I thought actually I'd just take you over here because we don't come over to this corner of the land you know every day and when we're sat under the lean-to you can just see this like vibrant pink colour so there's this really beautiful so before next door's dog decided to uh, come and interrupt me there's this beautiful rose <laughs> basically growing over the well and there was only about three flowers on it the other day and then I just spotted uh, when I was sitting earlier that there are a lot more now how stunning is this so we didn't have this well this time last year so we did not know that this beauty was growing here Frankie's come to explore as well. So you can just about see it from, if you can make out where we sit over there. Look who I've just spotted hiding in the mimosa. So what are you doing? I'm brushing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of trying to smooth it off the edges. So I don't know how I will be able to do this, but you see like this bit here. So what I can do is with a wet brush, still not really wet. The wet brush, I can brush this, it's probably a bit too wet, isn't it? brush the cement from the surrounding area. This is fresh cement, isn't it? This is, yeah, fresh. Mm -hmm. It's like, 10, uh, like 20 minutes old. So this is just like, so here, where we didn't sponge as yeah. well. We just seem to miss a bit, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I've got no idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, it's working. It seems to be working. In case we haven't mentioned before, we aren't actually builders. <laughs> so definitely don't take advice off us. 
and there's Nick's here, and then you can take advice off him, yep. like we do. Yep. We're showing you that it can be done by yourself, but not how to do it by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go charging anybody based on our knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can see this, but Joao is sat in a frying pan. <laughs> He's been to the vet twice in the last couple of weeks because he had a bad eye, but it's getting so much better. He's not going to look at me to show you. There you go, you can see. Oh, good boy. Oh, bless you, Frankie. Are you going to be for dinner? You okay Frankie Sneezy? You got some hay fever? <laughs> so I'm just taking down the shelf but I have another <laughs> crazy idea. Um, obviously this is too wide for here so it looks a bit strange. Um, but the width of the shelf is really helpful so I thought maybe if we cut this off and then kind of curve it up somehow it could look nice <laughs> if we've kind of softened the line I don't know how to explain it Oop, falling over everything because the kitchen is in chaos again. I've just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to fill and then just the side. So I think the side will be the most impactful change because that's what you see the most. Today. Uh, we, our, our thermometer got to 35 degrees Celsius, which I think is 95 Fahrenheit. Um, so yeah, it's quite hot. It, it only got about 10 degrees hotter than this last year. Um, so this is our first real taste. It's not been too bad. Didn't sort of have to hide in the shade all day and managed to get some rendering done, obviously. One thing we did notice is that the chickens got really hot and they were drinking our body weight in water. So Chris saw this really cute thing of kind of like making it like a chicken pond, only a little one, just out of a bucket. We can like stick some rocks in there and stuff so they can get in and out. So we need to water the top part of the garden. So yes, yeah, so we figured we're gonna make a little chicken pond and see what they make of it. This bucket here is what we will make the wee pond out of. It's really a wine bucket. And then I think I'm gonna put it underneath this olive tree here because the chickens like to dig under it and there's usually quite a bit of shade throughout the day. some bits where they can like try and get closer to the water because they'll jump on the side of this when it's got water in it but they're always struggling obviously when the water's too low so I might put a few others at the bottom so that they can get lower if they want to um, and then I need to go and get the generator which is all the way down at the bottom
going as smoothly as last time. I don't know why, but it's going. Trying to entice the chickens over, but it's not really working. I think we got three. Go on, chuck, chuck. Come check out your pond. I definitely didn't put her there. Not too sure, eh, Mo? So my battery went. I'm such a good YouTuber, aren't I? <laughs> Hang on, let me turn this off. This is where I've gotten to. Almost finished. I'm st still just smoothing off the edges here. <laughs> and I've run out just for this one side. It's a bit frustrating, but Jan's just making me up a mini mix. This hasn't gone as easily as before. I don't know why. It's It's fine. It's just... It felt easier the other day, <laughs> but I have been listening to some of the music you guys recommended to me in the last video, so that's been a fun way to kind of get into it, so thanks for your recommendations, I'm adding them to my playlist. But yes, I will be finished very shortly, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to make the fronts as best I can, but they're kind of frustrating me. But there we go, the focus is all going because the, the light's all weird. Um, and <laughs> today we did our laundry, which we do... Oh, it's really smoky out here. Yeah, we do like once a week, maybe even longer at the laundry <laughs> than our... Uh, our garden looks like this, so we need to get all that in and put the bedding back on. Put the kitchen back together, make some dinner. Yeah, I'll show you what the walls are looking like in the morning. It's gorgeous here, but someone is having a fire locally. And it's all misty. I don't know if it's getting picked up. Johan is starting his never-ending morning task of strimming. Hopefully <laughs> not too much longer to go. <laughs> Maybe four days and that should be it till September.
good morning it is another very warm day here starting to feel like summer it is going to drop again at the end of may but we just have a very hot week coming up which is good practice for summer um so i'll show you the shelves yeah as you can see it just wasn't going on as well as it was the other day basically this is some uh, wax and nectar from our friend janine from their bees so i'm going to try and make candles or something with the wax. I think I might try the tile adhesive or some sanding just to try and get some more smoothness. It's funny because I did the very first piece in the most unviewable part and that one turned out the best and the last one's the worst but yeah I think as a whole it still looks fine. Anyway I am focusing on the shelf so I need to mark where to cut it to try and get this like, smooth edge idea I'm thinking about. Hello Alps. This is how it looks. Um, we will be putting the shelf brackets back on. It won't be on on top of a breeze block. Um, but we're just wondering whether to cut it so that it sits more in line with this, like a continuation rather than on this block. Um, or to also cut it like here under the window so we have a taller space with a uh, window ledge. Don't know. We're going to live with this for the next couple of days until we take it all apart again and see what we think. But yeah, I like it. Oops. And um, yeah, I will be oiling it up so that the colour is the same. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll just sand all of it because I quite like this colour now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is this is how our project always goes. Shall we do this? Shall we do this? Be easier to see once it's all painted white, actually, because maybe the darker stain will look better against the white. So this is the piece of offcut from here, and I'm just wondering if that could be like sweet little shelf here or something put washing up liquid on or I don't know maybe there with some hooks underneath lots of things and ideas to play around with so I'm just signing off this video now and um, one thing I did want to say is we had a really good weekend we went to see Luke and Sarah who have the channel Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life go check out their channel and met up with a group of other Portugal based YouTubers so I'll leave a list of channels in our description if you want to see more people doing very cool projects 
local to us. But yeah, it was such a good afternoon. I think Jasper from the Portugal Project captured a little bit of it in one of his videos, so you can go check that out if you want to see what we got up to a little bit. And yeah, Luke made the most delicious pizza. So yeah, and Cindy Vine, who has the channel, I think it's just called Cindy Vine, was supposed to be there and she is having an absolute epic at the moment, trying to get back to Portugal. She has an amazing channel too, if you want to go check her out. But yeah, oh, it's just, I think after we went through all that drama, back in December and knowing how stressful all those kind of things are really feeling for her so go send her some love I just also really wanted to say thank you to everyone who's bought us a coffee or is our Patreon supporters it really means a lot at the moment and with this project going on it just really helps so thank you so much oh our solar battery is getting hot it's hot today <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one take care